Happy Friday everybody, we've been covering PHUN for a couple of days now and we are back for another one today. We're going to be looking at the stock on both the one day and the five day and just giving a review of the week that we have seen, uh, you know, because the past five days has been mixed for the stock. If we look at it over the past five days overall, it does appear to be the case that we are falling, but the question is really now, where do we go from here? Because we have had a bit of a red day today, you will see that we're down by about 10.44% and the question is why and ultimately what comes next with this stock so that's what we're covering in this video if it sounds good make sure to leave a like on it and subscribe because remember this is a small youtube channel and everybody that does subscribe does help us to grow with that being said of course i am not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice be aware of the risk with this stock i personally think it is insanely risky it's too risky for me guys i must add that as well but yeah if you think it is worth it for you perhaps it is a good buy but again i'm just trying to say i'm not a financial advisor i do think it carries a lot of risk now with that being said we are also doing a fundraiser right now for save the children if you do feel that you can donate please do you will be helping a good cause but now i've said all of that let us dive into the video and we're going to start off looking at the very easy to understand simple chart so the one day for this shows that we are down like i said by 10.44 percent and coming into after hours so far which has not been open for a while uh, but yeah, we've been open for about 30 minutes on there. We are falling by one cent. So the one day is clear to read. Ultimately, 9.30, coming in towards the end of the day, we have dropped from a price are open of 4.79 coming down to 4.29 so you can see how we have been moving again from the morning we started to decrease this happened until about 12 o'clock and from 12 we started to bounce back a little bit we hit our second highest point of the day which was back here at about 41 minutes past one which was back at 4.59 and we have been down ever since we had a slight uptick towards the very end of the day but really it wasn't enough to bring us back and we are still finishing down so key points to take away we are down by about 50 sense so it's not necessarily as bad as it seems and the main thing that i always try and remind you guys of when looking at this stock is if you are in doubt just zoom out yes the stock price is falling over the past five days but really it's not necessarily as bad as you would expect for a stock that is up this much bear in mind if you'd have bought this one back on the 20th of october or even the 21st you could have paid only one dollar so clearly the stock is still up about four times from that point i think that is something that a lot of people forget when we see the stock drop we are still up big from where we did start off. I think for that reason, I'm not really too concerned with this stock, but I'll give my personal opinions in a bit more detail at the very end. First, I want to check out the technical indicators with you guys. We're going to do this on the one day, on the five day, and also on the one month. On the one day, you can see we're sat on a moving average of 425, which really isn't that bad. It's a little bit below where we are right now, but of course, it has been caught out by this little rise that we have had towards the very end of day. Now, another thing that has been caught out by the rise is the RSI which is now climbing up to 62 it's not too bad it's not extremely high but it is a little bit up there and the macd trend is becoming bullish towards the end of day because of this rise on the five day we can also interpret the fact that we are sat on the moving average because we have had this uh, quite quite minimal decrease in share price bear in mind we have been falling for the last couple of days but one thing to take away is that the drops haven't really been too significant it's been slow and steady and it's given the moving average that time to catch up now the rise at the very end of day has also given the rsi the time to catch up back to 48 right now which is reasonable and the trend on the macd is also quite neutral but again that is becoming ever so slightly bullish because of the rise that we have seen now the past month story is quite mixed as i said on the one hand we are still up big but on the other hand from the highs we are falling significantly now today being another red day is a bit of a shame in my opinion i do understand it to an extent because bear in mind today is friday and people are inevitably going to be taking profits or losses going forwards into the weekend but really for today i wanted to see this stock in the green because bear in mind we have been falling for the last two or three days as i mentioned now it was looking to the point where we could have seen this one slowly start to kind of level out because bear in mind the last two days whilst being red were not that bad at all but unfortunately we have fallen a bit lower today now the fact that we are down by only a small amount really in relation to what we have seen in the past is quite a good thing but again it still makes me a bit uncertain with this stock now one thing that i want to focus on before we move any further is going to be our volume today which is 38.87 million this is compared to yesterday at 58 and the prior day at 173 and back here on our highest volume day we were on 641 million so volume is falling significantly over time and again it has been decreasing in the last two or three days which does kind of make me a bit concerned 
because bear in mind, if we want this stock to continue moving upwards, we want the volume to come back into this. Now, this could all change going forwards into the next week, and I want to give my predictions for next week, hopefully on Sunday. But ultimately, we want volume to come back into the stock to hopefully see it move up a bit more. Now, the RSI for this time is coming into more reasonable levels at 59. Bear in mind, we want the RSI to cool off, and it is definitely coming down to the more normal levels, which is fantastic. Back here, it was at 100 for a little while, so to see it come back down is a good sign. Now what is not a good sign for the bulls on the stock is going to be the MACD because when you look at the MACD we had our two or three green days back here but now the trend is becoming overwhelmingly bearish. We're seeing four red candles right now and they are becoming more and more intense as time goes on dropping lower and lower and the lines over here are becoming closer together. Now what this means is that the trend is becoming increasingly bearish as time does go on and this is not what we want to see. Don't get me wrong the MACD is a bit of a lagging indicator and it doesn't tell us everything that we want to know but sometimes it can give us an early indication of where the share price is going next. And unfortunately, the trend on the MACD is dropping. So like I said, guys, this stock is going to be an extremely risky one, no matter how you see it. The upside potential is there, but I think it is also ignorant to forget that the downside potential is there as well. And because this stock is moving very slowly, it doesn't mean that it cannot drop further. This stock can go up just as quickly as it can go down. So if you are an extremely risk, uh, risk aware investor, perhaps it could be one for you, but I definitely think that you should manage that risk appropriately. If I was looking to buy this stock, I would not put in more than I am willing to lose, and I would be completely aware of the high risk that it does carry. Now, if I was looking to invest in this one, I would use it as a swing trade. I've heard some people talk about this as an investment. Now, I do understand that, I completely do, but for me, all of these stocks that we have been covering in the past few days, they do seem like more swing trade potential in my eyes. That's just the way that I personally see it, but I think, yes, it does carry a lot of risk, and that is something that we should remember. But like I said, I'll talk about this more on Sunday, but I do want to see us start to at least see some gains going into Monday. That would be ideal, because if we do not see that, I would be a little bit concerned about this stock. But I think things are looking good overall. We do still have that potential, and just because we see in three or four days now, of drop it does not mean that the trend is over the stock absolutely can go back up into the next week i think the fact that we are leveling out the fact that we are not dropping by too much on a daily basis is quite a good sign so it's not over in my eyes i think next week could bring strong things but like i said only time will tell thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you all again tomorrow goodbye so thank you for watching through till the end but let me tell you about our discord so on your screen, you will be seeing the N2S Finance Discord. Obviously, it is split into multiple sections. Basically, at the top, we have updates from me and all that kind of good stuff. If you scroll down a bit further, we have the main sections where we focus on cryptos, SPACs, and other hot stocks, including penny stocks, even stable growth stocks as well. And we even have a special AMC GME chat. If you scroll down, you can see some research and DD from the community. We also have funny memes, and you can see actual contributions from many members down here and again if you do join us it is a completely free link is down below but if you do want to become a patreon you will actually get a pink uh, sticker which will be displayed on your name so your name will come up in pink as mine comes up in red down here and that will show that you are a patreon but other than that guys you can join completely for free down below you do not have to pay anything if you do not want to thank you for watching see you soon